Assalamu alaikum. I am Mehir Anjum Mahiba from Standard 4 of Everest International School. Today I am going to show you my science project of rainwater harvesting. Rainwater harvesting is the process of collecting the rainwater and then that water is stored in a reservoir and which is used later in household work or harvesting trees. This technique is a way of saving water for various purposes to saving fresh water. At this time, water scarcity is becoming a huge problem. The process of rainwater harvesting could lead to one of the small steps of saving water. This is also used in washing utensils and those who are farming as their profession. Okay. Now I will show you how my project works. So first of all, I will put some water in the collection tank and drain water. And through this pipe, the water is going to the filtration tank. After filtering the water, the water will go to the well. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, respected teachers, dear friends and audience. This is Mehdit Mubashira, student of Standard 4 of Avaros International School. The name of my project is the water dispenser model. Sometimes water dispenser can be useful to pour water into a glass or a vessel. The dispenser is a device that is normally used to dispense water. Here I made a water dispenser from cardboard. It is a useful device that we can easily make at our house. The main concept in water dispenser is pressure and gravity. Hypothesis. I think when my water dispenser will get air pressure, that time it will dispense water to a glass with the force of gravity. Let's do the experiment. Now I will open the cap of the bottle. You can see water has started flowing through the straw. Now again I will close the cap of the bottle. Now the flow of the water has stopped. Results. As we observed, when we open the lid of the bottle, the air passes the water and the water starts to flow. And when we close the lid of the bottle, the air pressure is absent. As a result, the water stops to flow. There are lots of advantages of this water dispenser. I can mention some. Number one, water dispenser is great to store water. Number two, there will be no wastage of water as it does not leaks or flows while the cap is closed. And number three, it is easy to add filter in the water dispensary. That's all for my part. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Hi, my name is Jafar Jafarid and I live in Grandpa. Today I am going to make a short science project. My science project name is Floating In.
make sure you guys follow my rules. The Big Lovers, thank you so much for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Miftahul Janat Marzana. I am from Standard 4 Girls. Today I am going to show an awesome experiment of hand sanitizer. So for that here I take a bowl and I am going to pour some hand sanitizer on it. Now I am going to burn a fire with it. And now you can see the fire is burning on the bowl. This happens because most of the hand sanitizer products contains a high volume of alcohol, which is the reason for hand sanitizer fire hazard concerns. A alcohol based hand sanitizer are classified as class I flammable liquid substance, which means they have a flash point of less than 100. Warning. After using hand sanitizer, don't go near fire because it can burn your hand and it's also harmful for you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Samiha Rahman and I am from 4G1. Today, my project is about air pressure. So let's start. Now I will tell you how I made this. So first of all, I took one plastic bottle. Then I put one hole here. Then... I put some water and also added some color with this and then I put one balloon here so now I will tell you what's happening all around us everything on earth is being squeezed by the atmosphere above air pressure pushes equally in all direction and is pushing you now a similar thing is happening inside this bottle when you place the inflated balloon on top of it, the air pressure becomes higher. That pushes down the water, pushing it through the hole and making the fountain stronger. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asma Server and I'm from Standard 4. So today our topic is strain of COVID-19. A new strain of COVID-19 is sweeping across southern England and has caused alarm in continental Europe, leading to a flurry EU countries to issue travel bans on the UK in an effort to stop the mutation from spreading locally. Then the UK has found that the new virus of COVID-19 is 70% more dangerous and spreads easily and quickly. Mainly UK is affected by this new virus, but there are also some other countries which are also affected by this new virus. For example, Britain, Denmark, Australia, Italy, Netherlands, Iceland, and South Africa. Assalamu alaikum. I am Anisha Rupsar, student of Everose International School, Standard 4, Group 1. First of all, I would like to thank to my dear Miss to give us the opportunity to do a science project. In my science project, I have tried to prepare a water dispenser. To do that, I have taken a plastic water bottle and placed a straw to pass the water. The cap of the bottle worked as a key of the dispenser. After placing the straw, I have to ensure that there is no leak to pass the air since the bottle is airtight so when i lose the cap of the bottle air passes in the bottle and water started to dispense this was my science project assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh my name is Nafsa Tansia Subaita and I'm from Avers International School. Today, I would like to talk about the COVID-19 coronavirus. What is COVID-19? COVID-19 is a disease caused by a new strain of coronavirus. The CO stands for Corona, VI for virus and D for disease. Formerly, this disease was referred to as 2019 Novel Coronavirus or 2019 NCOV. How does COVID-19 affect human being? The COVID-19 coronavirus affects the human being because of its very harsh sickness that currently revolves around the world. 
Many people struggle from hunger and thirst by just paying bills for their relative who got the virus. Where was COVID-19 first discovered? COVID-19 COVID was first discovered in Wuhan, China. This virus was first known as the ghost virus, ghost virus which started spreading in the other parts of the world rapidly. How can we stay safe from this virus? First of all, we need to stay at home and take care of ourselves. We should always wear mask and no ma mask no matter where we go and maintain at least recommended distance among ourselves. Especially we must maintain safe distance from those who have symptoms of corona such as fever, cough, breathing problems, etc. The best way to handle this pandemic is by staying at home at all costs. To conclude, for our safety, wear mask always, wash hands, avoid crowd of people, be stressless, always take advice from doctors for what to do and to not. Be safe and ensure safety. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Tasin. Today I am going to tell about the current situation of the world. So the whole world is suffering with a virus named COVID-19 and it can be affected by touching, breathing, etc. And the world presidents decided to close school, office, college, university and etc. And this time the poor people are suffering very much. We need to give food or money to them to help them. So this was my today's video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Tanisha Abedin. I'm from Standard 4 Girls 1. Today I'm going to show you a simple science experiment that you can also try at home. The name of my project is Density. Start by taking an empty glass and tip in some water and food coloring. And then add some syrup or treacle. I'm using syrup. And I'm going to add a little bit more water to make the layer a bit thicker. Then finally fill the glass up with some oil. Now leave it to settle for about 5 to 10 minutes. These liquids separate out into different layers because they are different densities and they don't mix. Try dropping in different objects to see what happens. The syrup which has the highest density sits on the bottom and the oil which has the lowest density rises to the top. If we drop this coin which is really dense, it sinks right to the bottom. Now if I take this grape and drop it in, it goes to, uh, sinks to the oil in the water and sits on the syrup. This is because the syrup is denser than the grape. Pretty cool, huh? Now if I take this bottle cap and drop it in, it slowly sinks through the oil and sits on the water. Now finally, if I drop this sponge in, it sits in the um, top. 
This is because the oil is denser than the sponge. Try dropping in different objects to see which fluids are denser. I also tried shining a torch beam from above Give, gives a really nice effect. See? See? It gives a really nice effect. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thank you for your patience. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As per the instruction, we have to uh, set the piece of paper over a fire with using towels. What you are seeing here, observing here? It does not remain the same. Put it on the water. Leave it there. Leave it. Leave it. Like this. Okay. It's fine. Now take Yes. Yes. Remove it now. What do you what do you see here? Does not remain the same. It's changing its shape? Yeah. Yes, okay. Good job. Now take the wax or the foil paper or whatever you say white paper it does not remain it, it remains the same why you don't can the whole thing last day too